As I made my studies for global warming and the uh, Arctic regions, I became very much aware that actually uh, a large amount of ice melt was due to not only problems of, of, the, of the rising temperatures, but there was another hazard too. And the other hazard was pollution. Pollution is something we don't actually like to face, but pollution is something that affects every single individual on the planet. And a lot of the emissions, particularly smoke emissions, which of course was again caused by global warming, down in Australia last year, the fires, the endless fires emitting this awful smoke has ended up partly polluting the Arctic regions. Regions which were known for their purity. Their, 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 this was an area which, quite frankly, was always clean. Snow was always white. Glaciers were pure. Not anymore. We've got dirty icebergs. Dirty icebergs caused, as I say, from emissions from fossil fuels, and it's got to stop, and we can stop it. This is a very, very powerful message I've got with these pictures. They're not necessarily pictures that you want to hang on your sitting room wall to remind you of what you've done to contribute to this. These are pictures with a very clear message. So referring back to my genre, of sculptural watercolour. This was an interesting one because what I was looking at was a sea of ice full of holes where the melt had started to work through. And this one, look, is really quite deep. This one shows the depth of the polluted water underneath the ice. The other thing that interested me with this particular study was the fact I had to change the pigment because from having enjoyed doing many pictures of the, of the blue, the turquoises, which was a very pleasant colour to work with, suddenly I was faced with how to mess it up. This one here, I added a darker pigment it actually consists of some browns and blacks to bring out the polluted area. Polluted areas are never one colour, they're a mixture of all sorts of them, the muck we throw at it. The sea also had to be darkened. And here we have the iceberg flowing away down through the polluted sea. Goodness knows where it'll end up.